video number four in our series of Ravelry and in this video we are going to take a look at the stash function. Now in the previous video I showed you my notebook. In my notebook you can click on stash. Now you will see that I don't really use this because well my stash is too big and it changes too often. <laughs> I tried it and the yarns that you see here um, was gifted to me from a friend. She went to Russia on holiday and she came back with these five yarns which for me um, were complete novelty yarns. This one, just for interest sake, this one was a mixture of mink and cashmere. It was the softest, softest yarn I ever held in my hands. In the end, I used a double and I made um, a Guernsey hat for a friend. This one is um, cotton and milk fiber, milk solid fiber. It's a fiber that they make from milk protein. This one is still in my stash. It's um, white with blue speckles, so it will remain there until I have a grandson and then I will use it. This one was a mixture of wool and malamut fiber, which is dark hair. It was quite coarse. Um, I made a beanie from it, but my husband didn't want to wear it. It was really just too coarse and there was not much I could do with it having only one ball. This one um, is a raspberry rayon fiber. So it's rayon made from the wood pulp of a raspberry tree. Exceptionally soft, very, very fluffy. Um, I ended up giving it away as a present. And this one is a mixture of cotton and coconut fiber, fiber made from uh, coconuts. And I have this one in my stash as well. And I'm actually going to make a little something for my granddaughter with this one. Okay, so how do we use this stash? Okay, if you have bought new yarn, you add it to your stash. So we click on add to stash. And what is nice is that you can um, insert all the details I bought it from a local yarn store or from an online store, from a chain store, from a farm stand or a festival booth um, or whatever. Recycled yarn, other, I don't know. You can put the name of the yarn, the yarn company, where you bought it from. Okay, so let me insert one here. Let's say I have got, um, I have a lot of colors spun. I'm typing with one finger now, so this is going to go a wee bit slower than usual. I have got a lot of color spun merino sock. The yarn company is color spun. And I bought it from color spun themselves, direct from the yarn house. Okay, I didn't put the URL there. I talk with them frequently. Okay. And then they will automatically give you from the name that you've typed in, they will give you the um, choices because the yarn houses have the option to list their yarns on Ravelry. So I can say, yeah, this is Pure Merino Sock Superwash. I'm not sure why there's two Pure Merino Wool Sock Superwash. I'm not sure why there's two different ones. Um, I'm just going to choose the first one and I say, yeah, it's this one. And now it says, okay, which color did you buy? Um, what is the closest color to that? So you can put a description in. So if I say I've got colorway 336, the closest color to that is a red one. Um, it is fingering weight per skein. They already have this detail. This detail comes from the yarn house which has listed the uh, yarn on Ravelry and I have um, I had 500 gram I still have 300 gram it's 50 gram ball so I have eight skeins left I purchased it at color spun I purchased it in 2020 I can't remember what I paid for the life of me um, the dialogue I will have to look at the label um, and yeah, I can put some notes in here. 
Uh, I purchased this for a summer top. Yes, merino is excellent for summer because it regulates your body temperature. And I can say save stash. Right. If I want to add more, stash more, and I start the whole process again. All right. If I don't want to stash more, I just want to look at my stash. You will see now that there's the new one. It's in there. It doesn't have a little um, picture. I have the option to upload a photo if I want. This is where all these photos came from. I uploaded the photos myself when I put the thing in the stash. Okay. I can choose to sort my stash by name. I can filter it. Maybe you're looking for... If you have a huge stash, you can filter it by weight or whatever. And you can um, decide how you want to view your stash. Do you want to see large photos? Do you just want to see thumbnails? Um, do you just want to see a list? If I put it on a list, you will see that it will change the whole um, display. And you will actually see a lot more uh, detail from the yarns that you used to see before. Now, the other interesting thing is, let's go back to the Ravelry homepage. If you go into my notebook, you can also, if you are a spinner that spins your own yarn, you can keep track of your hand spun. Um, you can add a project to say that I have got this fiber now. Name your spinning project. Um, uh, Ash. Ashford, um, let's call it Ashford Red. Um, and I can put in there the colorway name of the fiber that I've bought. I can include it attributes like is it, it's a 80% merino and it's a 20% silk fiber. Um, I plan to, s or I'm going to spin, or I have spun it up to this yarn weight. I've got a wraps per inch of this. I've made a two ply or a three ply. Um, the twist direction, the twist angle is very important for spinners. If it's an S twist, it's more suitable for knitting. If it's a Z twist, it's more suitable for crochet. So I can capture all of that and I can add my hand spun stash to Ravelry as well, which is very nice because what happens to me and I should actually do my, my stash on Ravelry proper, properly because I buy yarn and I stash it and then a friend has a birthday or I have to send her something else and I send her some yarn along with it and then two, three months down the line I will look for the yarn that I thought I had. I will completely forget that I have actually got rid of it. So let's go back to stash. Um, so let's say this one. This one shouldn't be in my stash anymore. I've used it. It's no longer there. Um, I've used it in, a, in a, a beanie project and I've given it away. Click now. Why are you suckling like this? Okay. What did I do with it? I can just say um, I can begin a project with it. So when I begin a project with it, Ravelry will automatically remove it and leave only the little bits left at the end. So I can say, um, I can begin a project or I can just say, edit it, it's no longer in my stash, edit it, I think there's a remove function here somewhere, uh, I can add a colorway, I can add a new yarn, where do I remove it now? I can't remember, imagine that, and that is because Hilda doesn't keep her stash up to date, hmm, how do I remove it from my stash? Go back. Oh, there. I've used it, so I can just say delete this from my stash. I don't have it anymore. It's no longer in there. I still have my milk cotton. I don't have the merino malamut anymore. I've used that. Um, <clears throat> the raspberry viscous I've given away. I no longer have that. 
and the rest of my stash I will really have to go through to find them all because I have lots. Oh uh, my word, it's going to take me a day to list them all on Ravelry. So yeah, this makes it very easy for you to find what you have in your stash because yes, we do sometimes forget, especially if you're anything like me, you buy yarn because it's beautiful, not because you have a need for it at that moment, not because I have a project in mind, I just buy it because it's beautiful. So it is good. I can also make a fiber stash and of that I have just as much. I have a whole crate full of fiber that is yet to be spun up into yarn. Um, let's go back to the previous page. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, you're in slow motion. My cursor is not nice. What is happening with my machine? Neat. Okay, let's go back to stash. Um, used up. Um, if you have stash that you will trade or sell, now that is something else that happens on Ravelry. You can trade or sell your stash, so it's worth putting it in there. And you can mark it if it has been traded or sold or gifted. So Hilda should really put her stash in here so that she can remember what she's done with it. So, um, you know, then I won't spend five hours searching through my entire house forgetting that I've gifted it. Yeah. So let's use the stash function on Ravelry. It is brilliant. And what is nice, if you look at this one, for instance, that I've put in, I know now that there's 1,304. So if I search for patterns, it's quick to see how much do I have. Do I have enough or do I don't, uh, or is it not enough? So the stash function, it's worth using it. I'm not a good example. I will try my best to improve my ways and insert my stash. <laughs> I hope this helps you.